All right, welcome back to my lecture on the mental math series. Myself, is, my name is Dipshit Singh, and I will be your professor for this series. For those who've been wondering why I've been away for a week, well, that's simply because I have contracted the Zyana virus, and it has been affecting my brain cells tremendously for the past week, and therefore I have not had the ability to teach. For those who are wondering what is the Zyana virus, it is the virus where you lose all your brain cells because of the Zionist comments that are utterly stupid on the comment sections on social media. And so I highly suggest you don't contract that. It's been like a wild week. So um, if you're new to this series, I suggest you check out lecture zero. In that lecture, we learned how to use math to find out your father, to find out when, uh, find out how long it would take for your father to come back home after he's bought the milk. And to summarize, the result that we got is, um, it's not going to happen. And so you should probably give up on that um, um, dream. So today we're moving to a new type of math, which is very intriguing and very true, in my opinion. And this is called the Zionist math. And so the whole gist of this lecture is we're going to plot two types of people on this 2D diagram. We're going to plot the Zionists and we're going to plot everybody else aka the ones who are against the atrocities that Israel has been committing for the last uh, seven decades. Okay, so let's denote two things, right? So we need two numbers because we are graphing two people. So, okay, before we get into that, let's um, establish what each of these axes mean. So this 2D diagram is called the Argand diagram. What's the Argand diagram? Well, it's a diagram where we can plot complex numbers. Remember, Complex numbers consist of a real part and an imaginary part. Okay, so it has to have two components to it. Otherwise, it's not a complex number. So what does the x-axis represent? So this axis here. Well, the x-axis represents how much IQ you have. So this is positive IQ. This is negative IQ. And the vertical axis represents just the imagined number itself. All right, now that we've established, let's define the two numbers. So Z is for the Zionists, and H is for the pro-Palestinians, and H stands for human. Okay, you wanna be H, all right? If you want to be true person you want to be h do not be z all right so let's graph or let's define what z is so z by definition is going to be negative infinity plus infinity i right it follows the x plus y i format why is it this specific format because z if you're in the Z section of the sinus, you have negative IQ. You have minimized your IQ, and therefore you have minus infinity IQ. And the vertical axis represents how much humanity you have. Unfortunately, your humanity doesn't exist. Therefore, you're going to be maxed out on the vertical axis because you, your humanity doesn't seem to exist. So negative infinity, negative infinity is here. And, and um, infinity imaginary is here. And so if you graph you, you're going to be there. This is Z, right? That's where you belong on this 2D Argan diagram. Now let's graph the, the other people. So, oh, not other people, the real ones, the ones who are not Zionists. So everybody else. So H is... Your equation is the following. Your equation is um, infinity plus zero i, and that's positive infinity. So basically what that means, you have maximum IQ and your humanity exists. Therefore, you don't belong on the imaginary axis. So you are just gonna be there. That's plus infinity, all right? Now, we have plotted two numbers 
the humans and the Zionists. Um, so there's really no use to just plotting. We need to represent these numbers as vectors. Now, if you don't know what a vector is, a vector is a mathematical object that possesses two qualities and two characteristics. They have a magnitude, so a length, and a direction or a phase, and, we, and that's represented by an angle, theta. So let's draw um, an imaginary number, right? Oh, let's, fuck, what am I saying? A vector, right? So what does that look like? A bit like this, right? So it has a magnitude and a direction. And so does this. Okay, so we have two complex numbers, one, called, one for the Zionists and one for human beings. Okay, so now what else can we fetch out? We can calculate the magnitude of the two imaginary numbers. And how do we define the magnitude and the direction? If you want to find the magnitude, you call it a mod. Mod for modulus. And if you want to calculate the argument, I mean the angle, you call it an arg. Arg for argument. So let's calculate the modulus or the magnitude for the Zionists first, and then we would do the human beings. Everybody else, yep. So let's uh, switch colors a bit, okay? So firstly, we're going to denote this as mod z, right? This is how we denote complex numbers, right? Modulus of z. Now, how do we calculate? Well, if you see, we have a vector, and vectors can be decomposed into its constituent components. It's going to have a component on the x-axis, I'm going to extend that a bit, and a component on the y-axis, right? So we use Pythagoras' theorem. This is the x component, and this is the y component. All right, so let's um, kick on with the math, right? So, according to, uh, according to Pythagoras' theorem, oh god, um, the modulus of z will be the square root of z x squared plus z y squared. What is zx? Well, it is um, the square root of I have no, I have um, negative IQ squared plus I am not a human squared. Right? That's your values. I have no IQ squared plus I am not human squared under the square root. Now, if you have purchased the mental math calculator, the best calculator in the world, the most accurate calculator, you get a result. And that result says, I am a bitch to Netson Yahoo. Okay? That, Jesus Christ, that is your final answer. Right. Now we need to calculate the angle. So there's no use just calculating the magnitude. We also need to calculate the angle. Now, how can we calculate the angle? Well, we can use the inverse tan function. Tan theta is equal to opposite. Um, let me see if I can. Bro, what the fuck? Here, uh, bear with me. Sorry for the technical difficulties. I am back. So we've just established. We so um to recap what happened, uh, we have just established that the magnitude of the Zionist is I am a bitch to Netanyahu, and so that's the magnitude. Now we need to find the um angle. So obviously vectors need a direction. Therefore, um, you need an angle, right? Angle theta. So, as we can see, 
we have the x component of the vector and the y component. If we use some trig, we can see that the tan function is opposite over adjacent. So um, tan theta is equal to zy over zx. And if you use the calculator, like um, the mental math calculator, you're going to get that theta is equal to I am a shithead who supports genocide. Jesus Christ, bro, I'm having the same problem again. Fuck. Okay. Okay. I am a shithead who supports genocide. That's your angle. All the arguments, may I add. Now let's determine the magnitude and the direction of the modulus and the arguments of the other vector, the human vector, the human being vector. So the modulus of h is simply free Palestine. And the argument of h it's not zero degrees like you think. In this context, it is I am a true human. Free Palestine. 